What's going on everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Today I am going to go through five products, gaming products, that I bought in 2023. Now keep in mind some of these products that I am going to show came out well before 2023, but I just bought them in 2023. So I'm going to go over five of my favorite products that I bought this year. And in later videos, I am probably before the end of the year, I'm going to go over five uh, video games that I bought this year that are my five favorite of the year. So that's uh, that'll be coming up before the end of the year. But these are just five gaming products that I bought. And uh, I'm not going to say anything negative about any of these products um, because, you know, every every product has its pros and cons. But we're going to stay on the positive side on these. So these are five of my favorite products that I bought this year. And we are going to start out with the Anbernic RG35XX. This thing is absolutely amazing. I believe I paid 65 bucks for this. And uh, that's what she looks like. Really nice looking handheld. Um, but this thing has over 5,000 games on it. And the library is like insane. It has games from like Sega Game Gear all the way up to the PlayStation 1. My personal favorite library on here is the Neo Geo library because... It's Neo Geo. They uh, most of the games I, I think from Neo Geo is made from SNK, and absolutely amazing. I love that library. I almost play the Neo Geo library almost daily. I mean, I won't sit for hours because I have other things to do, but I do play this almost daily still since I bought it. So. The Ambernick RG35 XX. And I was hesitant on this when I bought it because I didn't know anything about Ambernick. This was the first Ambernick product that I ever bought. So, yeah, amazing product. Uh, it's well built. It doesn't feel cheap. Beautiful picture. Beautiful gameplay. Just an all around great handheld. So, I do highly recommend that if you don't have one. Uh, the next product that I bought. This is the most recent one, actually, that I bought. And that is the Hyper Megatech Super Pockets. I mean, what can I say about these? These things are phenomenal. Uh, for as small as they are, man, it has a great picture, uh, great uh, Tato library, great Capcom library built in. And on top of that, these play Evercade carts. So fantastic handhelds i mean good feel to them don't feel cheap at all they look beautiful they feel good um you get you know four plus hours of uh full charge gameplay on it so yeah you really can't beat them they're they were great and you know evercade did great for me this year because you know this is the what second product now the third product, which is one of my favorites this year, was also Evercade. You know, Hyper Megatech is the uh, sister company of Blaze Evercade. Um, well, Blaze, who makes the Evercade. I'm sorry, let me uh, clarify that. But the Evercade VS, and, you know, this is a couple products, but, you know, I, I bought these within, like, a week or two of each other so i'm just going to put these together and also the handheld which is the evercade exp these products like changed the year for me um both the vs and the exp because you know i i do own all of my uh original consoles still like my my atari 2600 all the way up to the ps5 i i have all of my consoles that i've ever bought still and i still have all the games and everything and i know the evercade uh they have physical carts and there's multiple games on these carts 
And a lot of the games on there, I do own physical copies of, but a lot of the games I don't also. So this was this was just awesome. It was so intriguing, like reading about it. And then when I bought it, I, I instantly fell in love with it. So I had to get the EXP right after the VS. And, you know, now, you know, I got my, my VS power in an arcade cabinet that I built. And I'm like living my childhood now. I mean, I I always wanted an arcade machine. And since the VS and, well, Evercade itself, they offer arcade carts. Now I can play licensed arcade games. So it, it's just, it was a dream come true. I, in fact, uh, in a previous video, I mentioned something about the Evercade. It is actually, of all the consoles that I own, this is my second favorite console it's it's absolutely brilliant i love it it's uh right behind the ps5 ps ps5 is a really hard one to to beat but i didn't get that in 2023 so it's not on my list so yeah so so far you know we got the blaze evercade vs exp we got the super pockets that was the second and then uh the amber nick rg 35 double x so we have two more products that I got this year. And let's see, we'll just grab the one on top here. And this one, I don't even know what year this one came out. Because I know both of the Evercades, I mean, they they didn't come out in 2023. They were out before. I just found out about them probably 10, 11 months ago, almost a year ago. So... I was a little late to that. I did get the the EXP rather like quickly though because I think that was relatively new when I got it. I'm not real sure. But I do know the VS was out before 23. So anyway, so the fourth product that I got, and I'm not sure when this came out. I think this came out in like 2020. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I'm not real sure when this came out. But it is... The Super Retrocade. This thing is awesome, but you know, you know, it, ha it has over ninety arcade games on it, and um, a couple like NES ports and stuff on here. Thankfully, it has some NES ports because it does have like both versions of Bionic Commando on here, and yeah, I'll play the NES version of Bionic Commando all day over the arcade version and you know and people that know me know that i'm huge on arcade games but nes bionic commando just beats the shit out of the arcade version <clears throat> but this this thing is absolutely beautiful um i forget what i spent on this maybe maybe 70 something like that but if if everything plays well on this Except for one game, I and again, I'm not going to talk negative or anything. I had a little bit of a glitch on, uh, I think, Bad Dudes, but it wasn't that wasn't really a big deal. It was just at the very beginning, there was a little bit of crackle, and then I started playing it. It's only at the beginning, the title screen, but every other game is fine. But this thing is amazing. I mean, I, I'm still looking for... Uh, uh, arcade stick that would work with this but these controllers that come with it are actually really good they look like they'd be like cheap and hard to play games with but man they're they're actually really comfortable and they work great um i think with this i'm planning on hopefully making another arcade machine and i want to power it with the retrocade because it's such a great little system um I think the only way that I'm going to be able to have a arcade stick that works with this is if I build my own. So I'm going to have to do it from scratch and get a buttons and stick kit and and build one onto the uh, onto whatever cabinet I make. So yeah, the Super Retrocade is great. I highly recommend that one too. I highly recommend everything that I showed you so far. And the next one um I'm not going to lie, I originally just bought this for the looks because I wasn't really impressed with the library of games on this. And it does look good, and 
I'm still not impressed with the library, but you can add games to this. So that was a plus. And the games that I do like on this made it so worth it. it it's so much fun. And childhood memories right here. This is the Atari Game Station Pro. An absolutely awesome system. I love it. Uh, it has over 200 plus games on here. They're not all Atari games because it has a lot of bonus games on here that are like Pico arcade games and some Pico 8-bit games and stuff like that. But, I mean, this has everything from the Atari 2600, 5200, 7800 to, to Atari Arcade. And, man, this is what I grew up on, 2600. I still have my 2600, but I... I never owned a 5200 or a 7800, and I did play a lot of Atari Arcade, you know, when I was younger. So, man, this this was so worth it. It was like 100 bucks, and it's a beautiful, beautiful system. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm going to order, or not order, but I'm going to get an SD card, and I'm going to install more games on here that, you know, they left out, but... Yeah, not a big deal at all, man. I can load any Atari game from any of their systems onto this and and play. So the Atari Game Station <clears throat> Pro, man, I I had a blast like playing this. I I do play this uh daily. But like I mentioned in other videos, you know, that that started it all for me. It started out started it all for a lot of people that are my age. Um so when it comes to Atari, I can't sit and play Atari for like hours on end like I could when I was a kid. Um, you know, it's usually like a half hour because they're Atari games. They're just not as advanced as new games, and that's not a that's not a dig on Atari or anything like that. That's just the way it is. Although I did recently go through Dark Chambers, uh, the seventy eight hundred version twice, and that was like a little over two hours. Like, it was an hour and 15 minutes the first time I went and completed it. And then the second time, I kind of had an idea what I was, or where I was going. And that took about an hour. But, man, the Atari Game Station, great. So, yeah, these are the five products that I'm talking about. I know there's more than five products here because, you know, there's two Super Pockets. And then there's the handheld and the VS, the EXP and the VS for the Evercade. But I kind of, I, I put them together because you know, I got them at the same time. You know, it's a, pretty much the same time. So, yeah, those are the five, man. Th these are my five favorite purchases of the year when it comes to gaming products. So we will make another video of the five games that I bought this year, which not all of them came out this year. Some of them are a little bit older, but... It's the first time I got to play them. And, I, and you know, I own a shit ton of games. But some of these games, I just never got to play. And I finally got the opportunity this year. So I will be making a video on my top five games of the year as well. So, hey, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot. And I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video... Game on, everybody.